the First Sino-Japanese War is a painful point in our country's history. In the Battle of the Yellow Sea, the Northern Fleet and the Japanese Combined Fleet engaged in a naval battle. The first cruiser squadron led by the flagship Yoshino fought bravely and inflicted heavy casualties on the Northern Fleet. So what kind of warship was Yoshino at the time, and how could a vessel with a displacement of only 4,000 tons unleash such combat power? In an era where just entering the era of dreadnoughts, the speed of battleship replacement was quite fast, and the equipment of artillery and power systems had been significantly upgraded compared to previous models. In this context, for a country without the capability to produce warships, it was a big problem. It was possible that the warships purchased at a huge cost would become obsolete in just 10 years. In this respect, Yoshino stood out compared to the warships of the Northern Fleet. Yoshino was commissioned in 1893, and its power system was the most advanced at the time, using 12 Kampon coal-fired boilers to drive two vertical four-cylinder reciprocating steam engines, with a maximum output of 15,000 horsepower. In fact, during the trial run, using forced draft ventilation technology, the maximum power output reached 23,000 horsepower, and the actual maximum speed exceeded 23 knots, making it one of the fastest warships in the world at the time. In contrast, the Northern Fleet at the time, the Dingyuan, as one of the main forces of the Northern Fleet, was also the newest and fastest battleship, commissioned in 1887. Its power system consisted of four cylindrical coal-fired boilers and two horizontal triple-expansion steam engines, with a maximum output of 5,500 horsepower. After forced draft ventilation, the output power was increased to 7,500 horsepower. Despite this, for a battleship with a displacement of 2,300 tons, it could only achieve a maximum speed of about 19 knots. Speed is a crucial factor in naval warfare. The side with the higher speed will have a greater chance to adjust formation in a short time, occupy a superior position, and launch an attack. If the battle is unfavorable, it can also withdraw in time and seek a new opportunity. In the Battle of the Yellow Sea, Yoshino, as the fastest warship, had no other warship that could compete with its speed. Like the power systems of warships, the latter half of the 19th century was also a period of great development in artillery technology. Yoshino's artillery technology was slightly superior to that of the artillery technology of the Beiyang fleet at that time. Yoshino was equipped with four Armstrong 6-inch, 152mm caliber, quick-firing guns. Although the caliber was not large, the firing rate of 7 rounds per minute, combined with a more reasonable turret layout, allowed the artillery to output more ammunition in a unit of time. In contrast, the main battleship of the Beiyang fleet, Dingyuan, was equipped with four Krupp guns with a caliber of 305mm, and two secondary guns with a caliber of 150mm. The firepower was indeed considerable, but the loading speed of the guns was too slow. Combined with the defect of turret layout and the clumsy warship, it took several minutes in actual combat to have the opportunity to fire a round of shells. Although Yoshino adopted an armored design, the thickness of its protective armor was far from that of Dingyuan and Jinyuan. The lower sides were 4.5 inches thick, about 115 millimeters, and the upper part of the armored deck was only 1.75 inches thick, about 45 millimeters. If subjected to multiple hits from the main guns of Dingyuan and Jinyuan, it was likely to sink to the bottom of the sea. In contrast, Dingyuan and Jinyuan were like mobile fortresses. The steel used in their armor protection amounted to 1461 tons, with a waterline armor thickness of 14 inches, about 355 millimeters, and a turret armor thickness of about 12 inches, about 305 millimeters. This level of protection allowed them to withstand hundreds of shell hits in the Battle of the Yellow Sea without sinking. Although Yoshino was launched less than 10 years after the Dingyuan class and Ziyuan were launched, the technological differences were sufficient to change the battlefield situation. As the latest type of battleship in the combined fleet, 
perhaps only the Dingyuan class could compete with its individual combat capabilities, but the Dingyuan class was too cumbersome, and both sides had their pros and cons. Actually, in that era of technological explosion, Yoshino didn't enjoy much glory for long. When it was commissioned in 1893, it was an absolute main battleship, but 12 years later, when the Russo-Japanese War broke out, it was no longer considered a frontline battleship and was assigned to the second-line protected cruiser squadron. The dominant force at sea were the dreadnoughts. This shows how fast technological progress was at the time, and how a country without independent industry was completely trailing behind other countries.